Hey guys, we're here at the Fretboard Summit here in uh, Chicago. We've been walking around, we're checking out guitars, and what we want to do is pick our arsenal of guitars. We're going to pick the three best guitars that we have to have, and it has to be here at the show. So we're going to pick our favorite ones. It'll be a Dreadnought, an OM, and a Parlor small body guitar. And to do it, decided to add in a fella that I think you guys all love, I love, I think he's great, we've been having fun with him this whole time. JP Cormier is gonna be here with me. We're gonna walk oh, around, yeah. we're gonna play all the guitars in the whole show and pick our favorite of those three categories. So Dreadnought, OM, Parlor Size. This is where we shine. <laughs> I have never shined ever. So uh, today is what we're gonna do. You're it. pretty luminous right now. <laughs> so first off, we're gonna do since we're here, we're gonna do the Gallagher booth. We're gonna check it out. They got dreadnoughts. They got OMs. Yep. We'll check out both. Yes. All right, so we're gonna do that. I know one of them right here is the Josh Rinkle model. This That's is one fantastic. of my favorites. I love this There's a uh, Doc Watson uh, signature, a uh, new prototype OM over here, yes. and a Maple OM as well. So we'll check out all those, and uh, yeah, we'll get back with you. Mang booth right now. We're gonna look at a couple guitars. One of them that fits is OM. Looks like it might be in that room. I'd say. There's also a slope shoulder dread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To the bourgeois room. I am sure they got stuff in here that you would think, right? Maybe. <laughs> we're check out tell the, these main guys are weird. <laughs> well, you're just going right for the door. I'm going at stuff. Okay. Brazilian, I take it? Madagascar. That's right. Madagascar. Yeah. And then I think I oh, got Oh, cool, Brazilian you get the here. film on the back. That's cool. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's keep you from doing damage to it. <laughs> Here 
probably very dry. It's dry, eh? Oh, this is nice. It's got golden tone. Because there's gold in it. <laughs> there's more well, gold. Did you see that? That's actual gold. I know. There's more gold in this guitar than than your teeth. It, my teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody's teeth. Mike Tyson's teeth. Uh, JP, what do you say we go look at some Santa Cruz guitars? Oh, I think that could be a thing. Like a thing? A thing. A real thing? What a monster! Right? You already played it. Yes, but the, I want to play this one. I've been looking at it every time I come in here. This one has all the notes on it. Really? Yeah. Pre-noted. Well, here we are, one of my favorite builders. I've yeah. known about these guys for a long time. And, uh, of course, yes. <laughs> this is Billy Strings fame, among other people. Yeah. Plays Thompson, and uh, there's a good reason for it, because they build tremendous instruments. Yep. So here we are. Yep. Take, take, take your too. weapon. All right. Sings, it just sings. Did you play the one with Sick Atop? You should play yeah. that one.
Mr. Man. I think these might be pretty good guitars. I think they could be. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> let's get the hell out of town. Right <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, uh, we're stepping so. in the Collings room. He's back. I'm just like <laughs> he's ready to roll. Oh yeah. There's a few guitars in here. Not many. They might be decent. They can be loosely construed as guitars. <laughs> they have six strings, yes. wood, and, and uh, there's people holding them. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna check out some Collins guitars. We're gonna see where it begins and ends here. I'm with you. Yeah. All right, check it out. This is my new obsession right now. Is triple O twelve frets. Tell me about I it. I want to see more of them show, show up again. Because I think it took a lull. Everybody's going double O's. Mm -hmm. that's it's triple O 12 frets that's, to me. That's how my signature happened. Blue shake. I just love that body style. Love it. And I, I can... Redwood? Yes, sir. And co-op? Yep. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. That's, I just showed you every finger picking trick I know. <laughs> so I can all, all, I haven't even played this on camera yet, but I, I did play it yesterday. I can, honest, I can, before even playing it, it's my favorite OM. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love this guitar. And you know, you know how you can tell what the best guitar in any room is? It has the deadest strings. <laughs> And these are rusted. <laughs> Already. Everybody's been playing it. Yeah, this sounds like it's been rowed 40 miles and put away wet. But even with that. Fancy on a guitar. Yeah. Did you just hear that? <laughs> That's what he does? Did you catch that? Uh, don't be fancy on these guitars. <laughs> so much that they're starting to kill all the screens, but...
the G tune right there for that one right there. There you go. Just that oh, note. <laughs> You know what's so awful? We have way too many great guitar builders, That's and it's true. awful. Yeah. Right? You know, if it was just yeah. one, and you could just go, this is the one I would have to have, yeah, it would well, make if, it easier. If that was the case, you could have this whole event in the phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> where's the, where's the uh, fretboard summit this year? Oh, it's in Buddy's closet. <laughs> <laughs> Only guy that's showing up is, is <laughs> Epiphone. <laughs> <laughs> the Guitar Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been doing a maple rosette? Mm hmm. From the traditional series. Why did I not pay attention to that before? God knows this guitar. It's got so much. I don't know what it is. Goodness. It's called goodness. Yeah, it's just goodness. <laughs> it's like pizza mixed with cheeseburger mixed with ice cream sundae. That does not sound like goodness to me. I, I have to say. Depends on what kind of man you are. <laughs> We look at things a little differently in Canada. I guess you do. <laughs> I, I always thought you guys were all right. You got poutine. And yeah, yeah. But Ooh, now you're like, poutine. oh, it's a cheap, oh, yeah. it's a pizza mixed with a hamburger and ice yeah, cream yeah. sundae. Oh, yeah. Poutine, that's for lightweights. <laughs> yeah. Do you put that in a blender, by the way? Oh, sometimes. <laughs> it looks like it comes through a blender. Either way you do it. <laughs> No tour of guitars would be complete without making a stop at uh, Martin. So we're going to take a look and see what they brought with them. Because I know they got to have, you know, a lot of guitars. Because they got lots of guitars. So yeah. there's got to be something. They in make there. a lot, so there is a lot. There is. There you go. <laughs> So, that, so I was I was telling the boys this morning, it'd be really funny if you went into a gig and you're like four guys have these guitars, and they're all identical. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be interesting. Oh, I see you all fell down the same parking lot, face first, with the guitar on, over drunk, bootleg, and uh, whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, this was a uh, pattern after uh, Cobain's, right? Yes. That's crazy. He did all this. No, I'm kidding. He did not do this.
right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Boy, that's yeah, a beautiful that guitar. <laughs> beautiful. So guitar. yours ends up being a little prettier choice uh, than what I grabbed here. Yeah. I, I gravitated to this one. It's beautiful. Because I love those headstocks. I love those, the verticals. They're awesome. I always wanted one of those, and yeah. I never got one. I got a 41. Do you? Yep. And I'll never part with it. It was given to me. Well. Yeah, it was given to me. Somebody, Somebody uh, please give me a 41 too while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. All right, guys, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, he's going to go ahead in, and uh, we're going to check out the Yamaha. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> we're going to look at uh, uh, Yamaha because they got some FG9s, and they also have the new FS9s. Do they have crows in Missouri? Uh, crows, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know how they, if you drop a nickel on the ground, just all the crows come? Yeah. That's me and guitar. And guitar like, That's gotcha. why I keep walking away from you in the middle of the, the middle It's of the all shot. good. We'll, we'll deal with that. Yeah, you'll see. You I know, walk away a lot, too. Mostly my back when you're doing <laughs> this. Because right. you're looking at guitar. <laughs> We're having way too much fun at this. This is supposed to be a job, you know. We're supposed is to it? be working. I don't like jobs. I don't like I've decided that everybody has a different B and B string tune yeah. that they like to use. Yeah. I am. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I think they're real. 
It's real. <laughs> I, I just can't help it. It's 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 the best dreadnought. I can't help it. It just it just rises above everything I've played. So and the the thing about this guitar that not many people are aware of that they don't get is the necks. I really do every like Yamaha neck is just to die for. There's no fatigue. The action is high, but you can, it feels low. Just because the way, I don't know what they do, it's just incredible how this thing feels to play. The notes like jump up out of your hand, you know? This is a guitar that I could, like I could do any style on this too, because of that neck, right? Right. Hey, All right, so. I already have a guitar here, we'll get way behind. <laughs> way behind. We're at Hudson Dalton now, doing our checkout, he's already got his guitar. Um, so, I guess that's how this works, is he gets to jump ahead of me for some reason? I don't understand what that's all about. Yeah, but I live in this room. <laughs> oh. This is Heavy. It's what ebony? ebony. Yeah. There's why. Yeah. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Really nice. Taking off sound. <laughs> Resonance of the E string. I used to know a lot of tunes. I, I used to. Now I, I know not, a couple. Now I not play so much well. <laughs> or speak the English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some people have a way with words. Others no have way.
the smoke. Absolutely. I love the color too. I do too. Man. And I'm what what is that? Italian? Really Italian. Yeah. No, what's the body shape technically of this? It's a CM, uh, which is generally a cutaway. This is not cutaway 12 fret version. Right. It's kind of like a dreadnought set with a triple O size. Right. Out of the really interesting. That's what I was going to say. It looked to me a lot like a triple O body. In the same case. Okay. So there we have it. We pretty much hit most all booths. Yeah. Um, there may be a couple things we missed. Yeah. But we hit pretty darn close. So the mission was one Dread, one OM, one Parlor guitar. Yeah. Um, wh where do you want to start? You want to start with the Parlors? Sure. Let's start with there. Because that's our less known for... You yeah, know what's yeah. out there. All right. So, what was your favorite parlor guitar? Well, I love parlors to start with. I have quite a few, and uh, they f they fit my live performance style really well. I can see that. Even though they're twelve fretters, I just choose not to do certain things on those guitars. <laughs> and uh, the one that struck me the hardest was the Flamang. I like that guitar a lot. That thing was amazing, it, and uh, actually, all of their guitars really stunned me. Because I've never heard of their of the company. Nope, me either. And so it was a great learning experience to actually get to see a new builder that I that I would buy. Right. That so was that, definitely in my top list. Uh, I really did like that. Uh, that like uh, what was that? It was almost like a L double O shape. Yeah, right? and it was a, a, a lot of mahogany in that one. I think. Yeah. Great guitar. Yeah, it was a really good guitar. I really dug, uh, just for coolness, uh, I love the Santa Cruz Ancient Spruce, uh, and I forget the name of the back. Super old. There was a vibe there. Yeah. I don't know if it was the biggest sounding guitar I played, but it was by far like this coolest vibe for a guitar. Yeah. Uh, definitely not one that everybody's going to pick up and take no, it's, home. It's $46,000, <laughs> so. But it, it was is, really cool. It, it was rather thrilling yeah. to hold it. I, I right. got a kick out of it. So hold the Mona Lisa. Right? <laughs> All right. So OMs, where are you gonna go? Oh, Collings. The Collings. The Collings floored me. Yep. Just a straight, plain Jane mahogany. Oh man. I love that, that guitar. That and it does. Uh, and I, I over the last couple of days, I've actually put it through its paces and done a flat picked it, like big open C tunings, finger style. Like, and it took all of that without even flinching, right? That was a, that was definitely in my top uh, b batch. I lean on the Thompson with the Sunburst. That was my favorite. If I'm going to do OMs, I tend to like Rosewood a little bit more yeah. um, for me. But that's uh, that was another one of those guitars. I dug into that guitar pretty hard. And again, I'm not a finger stylist, you know, intricate style player like you. But I dig hard, and that one did not want to slow down on me. So yeah. that was my favorite OM out there. Mm -hmm. And now we get to the Dreadnoughts. This, we were discussing this early, the hardest segment out here because there's at least three that I would put in this top. You can talk about your top three and then yeah. narrow it down to one. I think, I'll, okay, so the first the first one I got to gravitate to is the Doc Watson Gallagher because they've managed to, re re to resurrect that sound and it sounds like Doc and it's their nothing else like them and then after that uh, the Thompson <laughs> almost tore my head off you played the new Thompson uh, yeah. that's kind of built off of one of his guitars that he built a while back Sitka spruce top which is the first time I've ever played one of those Un unbelievable also like, in my top three and and, and the, the strange things about, about dreadnoughts is for me there's two categories there's you know there's the dreadnought that I can use for my whole show Right, and then there's the dreadnought that I would take to a bluegrass festival. Right, so the Gallagher is like the whole show deal, and the Thompson, and lastly for me, it has to be the FG9. The FG9. That the mahogany version of that guitar. It, it's one of the easiest dreadnoughts to play, outside of my Boucher's, that I've ever seen. It's just fl flawless. You, you can't make a mistake on it somehow. The Thompson was the same. Like they just play by themselves. So. I like the I like yeah. those. You hit three of mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat you a little bit. I'm gonna say four. I did like the Josh Wrinkle uh, oh. Gallagher. That was yeah, one of my yeah. favorites. Yeah. Um, I loved that Thompson retro. That one's a surprise for me because of the fact Sicker Spruce top that pops and almost gives you an Adirondack too, but there's a warmth and a little bit more depth to it. I really did like that a lot. Yeah. Um, I had one more that I oh the FG9 FG9 definitely in that top but my number one 
is the new revoiced callings that's in there. There's a D2H with a Madagascar. They're doing a new voicing on this uh, top that is different than they ever did, which is what you saw in that OM that you yeah. were looking at. Same yeah. deal, totally new voicing, re unique. It's in a traditional uh, line. That's my number one. Yeah. That was my favorite uh, dreadnought of this uh, weekend. So, and I and I know. just have to say the Collings boys are really nice. Yeah, they're nice, nice people. And I'll give a, a, a very special mention to Huss and Dalton for their dreadnought. They had a great one too. It's just it's so hard. There was but a also lot. at the same time it's it's really heartening to see that there's. We were talking about this in the elevator on the way down. There's a whole new renaissance with guitars in the world right now. Yep. So you, 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 there's never been a time, I don't think, ever in my lifetime, I've been playing for 50 years, where there was this many great guitars, all relatively easy to purchase. Yep. You know, they're not breaking the bank, most of them. Except for that parlor that yeah, I Yeah, yeah, the $46,000 <laughs> one, yeah. I'd have to auction both my legs. To I get that had thing. fun. I thought this was an awesome experience. One, to go around with you, we had a blast. We did stupid things. We talked uh, about dumb things and also had fun picking guitars. And uh, But you're, in the end... You're one of the best guitar players. <laughs> you're such a liar. No, I'm I appreciate not. it, though. I, I absolutely... I could pick with you forever. I, I agree. It was absolutely yeah. Yeah. a cool blending. Had a great time. Great guitars here at the Fretboard Summit. And if you guys get a chance, come on out here next time because this was really, really cool. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, man.